To discuss the next steps in the war and the debates over the best way to release the hostages and over the two-state solution, we get two views. Retired Brigadier General Yonatan Shimshoni had a 25-year career in the Israel Defense Force. He's now one of the leaders of the group, Commanders for Israeli Security. And retired Major General Gershon HaKohen had a 42-year career in the Israel Defense Force. He's now at the Begin Sadat Center for Strategic Studies at Bar-Ilan University. Thanks very much to you, both of you. Welcome to the news hour. Uh, Yoni Shimshoni, let me start with you. What is the best way, in your opinion, to get the release of the hostages currently in Gaza? Okay, well, the best way is clearly not the way that uh, we're trying to do it now, which is guided by some theory of total force, force only, uh, no diplomacy, no, uh, no, no political direction. And the more we apply force at the moment, not that we shouldn't have the, during the first four to six weeks, it's causing uh, the hostages to wilt and to be in greater jeopardy. So we need to somehow create some kind of deal that will include um, stepping down, stepping back, or doing whatever it takes to create a deal that will have a political dimension to it to release the hostages. Gershon HaKohen, do you agree? Do you think Israel should do whatever it takes, quote unquote, to make a deal? We must fight in order to defeat Hamas because they actually uh, bringing an existential threat to Israel. It is really an existential warfare and we cannot uh, focus ourselves only on the other mission to release the hostages. Actually, we are working in uh, both sides with these two efforts simultaneously, not just either or. And yet, the offer that was uh, just put on the table is, in my eyes, a kind of unconditional surrender of Israel. It means a demand of Hamas to stop the war. Yoni Shimshoni, what about that? The idea that the Israeli government is both pursuing a military option to pressure Hamas, but also being willing to actually pursue this diplomatic path. We know from reports uh, that it is willing or considering a longer pause for the release of hostages. The more we apply force, um, they will be in a last stand type of mindset. And if they get into a last stand uh, kind of mindset, they will probably kill all the hostages at, in the last stand. The other option is that they, are, they would be willing to seek a secure exit and of some kind. And in that case, they would use the hostages. And the, the logic of, of that situation suggests that we should go for a deal as quickly as we can and if it requires a diplomatic ceasefire, whatever it is, do it now, because the logic of this situation says either there's a deal or we lose all the hostages. Gershon HaKohen, is that right? Could more military pressure, in fact, lead to the death of the hostages? That uh, is really a danger. Everyone aware about that. We cannot ignore it. But on the other side is the real existence of Israel. We cannot permit ourselves not to defeat Hamas in that occasion. We are not just making pressure upon Hamas in order to release the hostages. We are struggling to defend the Israel existence. This is the main goal of the war. Yoni Shimshoni, let's look beyond uh, today. Who do you believe should run Gaza after the war ends? Ultimately, it's a Palestinian environment it's a Palestinian population, and if anybody's going to lead it, it is going to be a Palestinian polity of one kind or another. And what the world is telling Israel, in no uncertain terms, the world being the United States, Europe, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Egypt, uh, and more, are telling us, yes, it needs to be a Palestinian entity, and it needs to be rolled up in with the Palestinians in the West Bank, uh, i.e. The, the Palestinian Authority. Gershon HaKohen, who do you think should run Gaza after the war ends? Israel could really support Gaza to be a kind of state, and we are expecting, and we have uh, the right to expect that this state will be in alliances with Israel and not an enemy. 
Right now, the Palestinian Authority is not in alliances with Israel, far away from that. They are supporting uh, terrorists. We can live with the idea that the United States really insisted that Gaza will stay completely under Palestinian uh, hands. Okay, but not with Palestinian Authority. I don't believe in the a promise of uh, President Biden that he can change the entity and the character of Palestinian Authority. Yoni Shimshoni, what about those criticisms, specifically that the Palestinian Authority uh, has uh, incited Palestinians toward violence <clears throat> and is corrupt and is frankly unpopular among Palestinians in the West Bank already? I agree with the, the description, but I don't accept a static theory of, of history. Um, you know, the Germans and the Japanese were the devil, uh, were, the, were demons, and Egypt was out to destroy Israel for so many years. I think things can be moved if you inject hope and some kind of future uh, and maintain tremendous power and security control for a long time and require demilitarization for a long time and international oversight. I think things can be moved. There are some who criticize Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for making decisions based on personal decisions, trying to extend his prime ministership as opposed to national security. What do you think? We are in a time of war. He's leading our nation in a very complicated war. I don't believe that our soldier will sacrifice their life for that uh, a personal... Uh, interest of Netanyahu. They are struggling for something much more sublime than a political interest of somehow. So I don't believe in it. Gershon Hakohen, Yoni Shimshoni, thank you very much to you both. Thank you. Thank you very much.